can't believe I'm doing this. Okay. <laughs> so this... Okay, this is... I don't know how to start this off. <laughs> okay, <I'll> wait. <coughs> hey guys, it's Ashley. And so if you've been following Fifth Harmony or a harmonizer like I am, if you didn't know, I'm a huge fan of Fifth Harmony. I love them so much. They are my idols, my inspirations, my favorite artists, and so on. And recently, one of the members, Lauren Horegi, came out as bisexual. And so, that inspired me to make this video and to come out to you guys that I am gay. <laughs> this is weird. I don't know why this is weird for me to say out loud. But yeah, um, this isn't like something like new that I just randomly figured out or like um, found out like really recently I knew that I liked girls when I was about seven <clears throat> as young as seven I knew I liked girls but I didn't really know what it was I guess or like like I thought everyone um, felt the way I felt deep down inside I kind of felt like ashamed so I didn't really say anything I didn't tell anyone um, I didn't really have crushes on like anyone when I was in elementary school like nothing really I had like a bunch of celebrity crushes though that I didn't know that they were crushes at the time I thought they were like role models but, okay Ashley Tisdale from High School Musical that's one example I was 10 I think at the time I was fifth grade when that movie came out I did not have a crush on Zac Efron or um, Corbin Blue you know or any of the guys in that movie I had my eye on Ashley Tisdale um, I like wanted to like date Sharpe <laughs> but yeah I really loved Ashley Tisdale and I would like watch her music videos all the time and listen to her songs all the time and yeah, and also like a bunch of other Disney Channel stars, like even before her, like Christy Carlson Romano from Even Stevens. But yeah, I just kind of kept it to myself. And then it didn't really occur to me about maybe, I don't know, like 13 or 14. One of my friends at the time, she was, she asked me like, or like told me out of the blue, like, why don't you say guys are hot like I don't ever hear you say that and it kind of I don't remember what I said to her I think I didn't say anything but it kind of just stuck to me and it made me like wonder and go through this whole like like questioning my whole life and sanity and I was like oh my god why don't I find guys attractive like why is something wrong with me like I, what's going on and my mom would ask me like here and there like oh so you have any crushes on any guys and I would say no to her and she would say oh you're just a late bloomer and so that's what I believed I believed that I was a late bloomer until 14 I started to really worry that something was wrong with me because I I grew up in a Christian household going to church and I was at a Catholic school and Christian school for almost my whole life so I didn't really know what gay was and I, I didn't know any gay people or like I didn't even know what gay meant probably until I was 12 and I would even like google stuff like is it normal to like girls if you're a girl like that's how like much I didn't know Pretty Little Liars came on which is my favorite show I do videos for that I do reactions and I was 14 at the time gonna be 15 and there's a character named Emily and she's gay the first half of the first season she's figuring herself out and whatnot right in the first episode I knew deep down inside myself that I was like her like Emily but I did not want to admit it like that was not okay with me like I was like no 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 that's wrong I can't do that I am not like her that's gross like I even said like homophobic things back then and so when people would ask me like, oh, what's your favorite character on Pretty Little Liars? I would say, oh, it's Arya because I didn't want to say Emily because I didn't want people to assume that I was gay. Like that's how bad in denial I was and didn't want to accept myself. And then there was like a whole issue like, like my 
14, 15, 16, 17, like through that whole age, I was constantly depressed and um, I, just, I mean, at 16, I, I was telling a couple of my really close friends I was bisexual, which that wasn't the whole truth, but I, I was too afraid to admit to myself that I was gay, so I just told people. I mean, not a lot of people. I probably told only like three people at the time. Yeah, so I told like my closest friends, my best friends, and they were accepting. They were like, oh, cool. Like, my best friend, I think she kind of knew. Like, around this time, like, about eight, when I was 18, I slowly started to accept myself a little more that, um, that I just like girls and I can't change that. And I was born this way, so, um,. Yeah, I slowly started to come out to more people. My cousin Alana, who been in my videos a few times, she was totally accepting. She's really cool like that. I told like a few other friends, and then I told my therapist, which I see um, for my anxiety and depression, and she was totally accepting. Like she was totally cool with that. I would like ask her advice, like how to come out to my parents, because that was my most biggest fear but I felt like I needed to tell them because it was eating me up inside. So I told them um, beginning of 2014. Uh, that went, I wouldn't say horrible, but I wouldn't say super good either. It was kind of like my dad accepted me and said that he loved me and um, that God loves me for who I am, which that really made me feel good because the whole reason why I couldn't accept myself is because like, being raised Christian, I couldn't accept it, you know? And I know like it's kind of like a like a controversial like topic or whatever, but I believe in God and I'm gay, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. And if you have anything else to say about it, well, that's just your opinion. And if you're gonna leave hate comments, I am gonna block you. No one needs that kind of negativity in their life. Then my mom, she said she supported me and loved me but she's been kind of like up and down with accepting me sometimes she'll like be fully accepting and then other times she doesn't accept me and like she accepts other people fine but she can't really accept me fully and that used to really bother me a lot but now it i it just it doesn't really bother me you know because i know she does love me but it's gonna take some time for her to fully accept me, you know? But for the most part, everyone's been really accepting. I told my grandma last year, she was super accepting. She was probably one of the most accepting people, like, like reaction-wise, and just in general, she's really accepting and supportive of people. So I came out on Twitter, like, I think it was last year, and that was really cool, and I've been kind of putting aside this video for a long time. Because for a while, I kind of went back in the closet because of like just a few things that someone in my household would say stuff. And it kind of made me fear. Half hit it and half out, like kind of like one step out of the closet, if that makes sense. I'm slowly, you know, over the past few months, slowly going back to being out, not trying to hide it. And this is why I'm making this video because I want to let you guys know if there's anyone else out there maybe doesn't know what they are or doesn't know how to come out to people or their parents like there is no rush everyone has their time and you'll know it because a few times like oh my gosh I actually was gonna make this video when I hit a thousand subscribers and I got super anxious and I knew that wasn't the time so I'm like, okay, in time, I'll do it. And this is the time. So yes, I'm 21 years old and coming out. I know there's a lot of people way younger than me that have come out and that's great. You know, that's awesome. But um, everyone just has their own time to figure stuff out. Um, you know, if you don't know what you are, you don't need to put a label on it. You know, and I know that's like what everyone says, but that's true. Like. I didn't know really what I was for a long time. Like I kept going to know if it was a face or not, or like bisexual or gay, and like I just, I I just was kind of in denial a whole lot mostly. 
but once I could accept myself, I was much happier and making this video, I feel a whole lot better because I'm not hiding. Like I don't want to be able to censor myself what I have to say um, because a few times in like videos or whatnot, I don't say what I want to say because I was too afraid of people thinking that I was gay and assuming or something. But recently I've been kind of more open. I don't know if you guys noticed that. So that's like my coming out story, I guess, for you. Um, if you have any questions, leave a comment down below and I'll answer them. Like Fifth Harmony, they also helped me accept myself and that's why I love them so much. They all, they've helped me like love who I am and accept who I am, especially Ali because she's my favorite. But yeah, seeing Lauren come out, you know, publicly being like a celebrity and all that, I that was so like that was so brave, you know, of her to do that, and I was so proud of her. It just inspired me. Like, if she can do it, why can't I do it? You know, like why am I hiding this whole time? Why am I putting this video aside for like over a year? <laughs> Not only Lauren coming out, but just in the past, you know, they're very accepting of the LGBTQ plus community. And so basically Lauren didn't only come out, but she came out through a letter that she wrote to Trump supporters. And it was a really well written letter. Like, and she just slid in that she was a bisexual Cuban American woman. She just slid that, you know, in like it was nothing, no big deal. And I love that. Read it. I'll leave a link down below. It was um, on Billboard's website. Like her coming out, you know, since she has a big platform, is inspiring not only me but so many other people. Cause I saw like other people coming out because of her, and that was like amazing. If anyone sees this video, you know, they can watch it and maybe feel inspired too. Because when I couldn't really accept myself, or even now, like I accept myself, but I still watch coming out videos because they're just really inspiring to watch. And I think that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, yeah. <laughs> Bye guys. Peace out.